and we trudge on. Started off today, took a vacation day, so I was hoping to get some a few things done. One of the main things I wanted to get done was the AC mount. That didn't happen. So when the engine settled, actually, um, the starter over there. Alright, let's see if you can see it. The over there set a little too close to the upper control arm, so I had to add a little piece of metal in here to, to push it back up. Hopefully that'll be enough. After that, I started on the, um, the alternator bracket. Then I moved on to, hmm, I think the AC bracket. Now it's a work in progress, and I was uh, tack welding this plate right here. I ran out of the wire feed, so jump to the next project. I'll have to go get some more uh, some more flux core tomorrow. Anyway, so after that, I decided to pull the um, the fuel tank filler, and I thought that was going to be an easy project. Pull it out and you know throw in the other one. Well, it's not because the new filler Let's see if I can pick it up. is a different size of course so I'm going to have to go buy some more um, some more rubber hose and that probably need to be replaced anyway so that project didn't get finished but at least I know that I need it I didn't realize I, was, I thought it was going to be a a direct drop in since it's uh, the the factory diesel fuel filler for this uh, truck all right uh, so got stacked there so then I said I'd start on the transmission I hooked up the can't I can't really see up on there right now but I hooked up the uh, transmission so you can shift it the gears um, the transmission cable for shifting I hooked up the wire harness to the transmission controller and also um, took the original wire harness for the uh, the factory engine uh, the factory transmission controller and kind of zip tied it up so it's nice and clean and that's all up under the truck and then I fed the line into the cab I cut a hole it is not cleaned up so you can see it right there that there's wire lines coming out to start feeding the transmission controller in and stuff um, feeding the transmission controller wires out and feeding stuff like the alternator W wire in there uh, for uh, yeah for reading the tachometer I pulled out the uh, the Dakota uh, the tachometer interface as a fuse now I know the black wire is the power wire that's absolutely incorrect you can see where I jumped it to red but for some reason this um that's the only inline fuse I had was black so it's better than nothing all right so that's where I'm at right now I started basically went from project to project each project until I got stuck and then went to jump to something else let's say it's a very successful day it's a very been a very long day very close uh, hopefully this uh this next weekend or this up or this upcoming weekend here in the next three days i'll be done and have this guy on the road uh, i think i will have to have a hood scoop or a body lift the after i modified the um the motor mount i am tired after i modified the motor mount it pushed the engine higher and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a hood I'm probably gonna cut the hood cut a hood scoop out and then I'll end up doing a body lift later. But uh it's getting there. You guys have a good one.